photographing sculptures should be easy. Walk up to it, take a picture of the whole thing, and you're done. But having a think about where your sculpture is, how it exists in its environment, and how it was carefully placed to make the most of that environment often leads to much more interesting pictures. Looking more closely at the sculpture reveals some really interesting details and some great possibilities for some photographs. For example, it's just finished raining and the way that the water has kind of pooled on this metal on the top is really interesting. So what we'll do here, if we frame up really close, we'll get this nice depth of field fall off between the foreground and the background where the background kind of falls out of focus really nicely. You just have to make sure that the water drops are actually sharp and focused. Yeah. All we need to do is make sure that my reflection isn't in there and also because they're so bright it makes the background really dark so you can make something that's nice and not too cluttered feeling and we can come away with some really interesting looking abstract frames that kind of make the most of the material that was used to build the sculpture that has lots of kind of shape and texture to it.